So during that window between Air Force stints, like what are some big changes you brought to the program in 2020 that you might not have known or had in your in your chest that first time around? Well, I mean, I think obviously, like everybody says, uh, you know, things change over time. Uh, so to be honest, the things that changed during that time, say 04 to 20, probably was just a little bit related to the nature of the game more so in terms of uh, actually having things go more in those 16 years along the ways of what Princeton basketball, Pete Carrill basketball was, our basketball, using big men a certain way. We were doing that in the 80s and coach was doing the 70s and nobody knew how to play with big guys and sort of invert them and have them be on the outside and smaller guys on the inside. Now all you do is over the last six, 20 years, in those 20 years, you saw everybody start to play that way. You know, I think a lot of it came from the success you know, we beat UCLA. We then were top 10 in the country in the late 90s. Uh, we went to Air Force. We won that way. And Coach Carrill went into the NBA with the Kings for 15, for 15 years. And he transformed the NBA. And now everything in the NBA all comes legitimately from Pete Carrill. Uh, and he did it his whole career. And now everybody does it. And, you know, just using joke, uh, you know, the Joker as an example everybody plays that way. Everybody has those guys and everybody knows how to play with them and spreading the court and spacing the court. And I think that's the number one thing that happened during that time up until 2020 was, wow, everybody's doing this. Then you throw in scouting, then you throw in film. We know we lived in a time frame back then when we were really successful of, there was no film, there was no synergy. There was no, everybody had access to everything today. There's nothing you can do in any way, shape, or form. X's and O's, recruiting, where you're beating somebody, where you're working a little bit harder, and I'm digging in the bushes, and I'm going to uncover. Because everybody's got access to all the same information. And every because of that, right, every coach knows what every other coach is doing. Whereas back in, before, you know what? If you had certain ways of doing things, you know what? They might not know about them. Uh, no, it doesn't exist anymore. So all those things probably opened up the game in a lot of ways. 